read something that somebody else wrote. This lady's name is uh, Jan, or Janet, or, and uh, she lives out, I believe, in Missouri. But anyhow, she sent me her book of thoughts, and she she's a real good Christian lady, and she wanted me to read some of her words for you, and so I'm going to do that today, and uh, I hope you give them, a, give them a like. She's a real good Christian woman, so she uh, she's going to be tickled that I finally got around to reading some of her work. Then how I'm going to read this to you, and uh, this is not my work. This is um, this is a nice lady that that uh, I've been friends with quite a while. So here we go. Uh, the first thing I want to do here is read the back of it. And this is what she says on the back of her book. It's a paperback. With many years of walking, talking, and enjoying my father, creator, savior, best friend, I attribute many of these words and thoughts to those many times together in prayer or thinking about him, and many times asking lots of questions about himself, Jesus, and Holy Spirit, all of which are very intriguing, manufactured, created, of all things good. I hope you find some joy and peace as you come along for some of my life spots and journey of learning about God and His ways. Life is just an introduction to all three Godheads until we meet them face to face. I live in the Midwest with my pets. I love writing poetry, children's books and photography, surfing on my computer, and music. This is my first paper book of poetry, writings, and or some lyrics. I also love birds and is the inspiration for my two children's books. And everyone I love and have spoiled also is my dog, Shawnee. He has stolen my heart also. I hope you will enjoy my poems, children's books, and even some lyrics for my songs. Thanks for coming along thus far. That's what she read on, wrote on the back of her paperback. You created the words that I write. You, create, you created my eyes that read the words. You created the love that's in the works, words that see the love that beholds the love. You created the voice that speaks your words. You created my ears that hear your words. You created my mind to understand the words and the love that is in them. You created the words that touched me, that held me, that anointed me. You created the taste, the hunger for your words to teach me to learn of you. You created the air and the breath of life I breathe. You created the aroma I smell of your sweet love. As I see, read, and feel your words, you created my heart and every beat that belongs to you. You created my eternal soul and all the love that is in it forever. You created the words that keep me on your paths and guides me to you. You created a little me of you. Thank you. That's one. I'm going to read another one. If I can find it. I had it marked. I'll get to it. Take me a minute. He's the sun who brings truth to our sight. We are stars that follow. He is our guiding light. The star stands still in awe of the sun. He is chosen in rapture when earth day is done. They know he will appear some morn with a rainbow of a promise that we are reborn. Because we are his little lambs that was lost now found. His diamonds that he formed from the ground. He's the rose that stems the childlike faith from the very start. He's more excellent by far, reaching to the further star. His grace is wilder than the east is from the west. We are the reason his son was sent. He is this joy in the songs that we sing, on the songs that we sing. 
for our hope is in Christ Jesus. We are always same as a world sing praises to the Father's name. When we stand on his word, we know it will come true, for his words are written especially for you. Well, that's the two that I decided to uh, read. I enjoyed them. Enjoyed them, and I hope you did. And I thank you very much for uh, watch, listening and watching. And I, support, and I thank you for your support.